Hi, and welcome to the show Podium, and we're on 039, and it's the last of the shows which features Jamie Smart, Sunday Times bestselling author, speaker, and executive coach. His books include Clarity, Clear Mind, Better Performance, Bigger Results, The Little Book of Clarity, and his latest book, Results, Think Less, Achieve More. And you can find out more about Jamie's work on www.jamiesmart.com and on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat at jamiesmart.com. And we're going to join this conversation um, in the middle, actually. And my good friend Dorothy Martin has kindly, during the webinar, asked a question about consistency of performance. And I'd mentioned previously about accuracy. And this question came up for Dorothy, which talks about business people chasing consistency, i.e. how do I learn to perform consistently well all the time? And both Jamie and I have a stab at that question. So you can just go straight over to that conversation now. I think that when we're, for me, it seems anyway, is that if we start to chase something that's already a concept or a construct like consistency, Mm. then we're already looking in kind of the the wrong, not the wrong direction, but a direction perhaps that's not as helpful. Mm. Um, Because when we start to look at, I mean, when we look at babies, and I, I use these examples a lot, they consistently over time go from their backs to their bottoms to their crawling and then before long they're up they're up at the coffee table there is a consistency to life Mm. to the way in which life plays out and we don't really need to get in the way of that personally with a concept of us personally wanting something that we already are so for me, when I hear that, and I hear, <laughs> I hear it a lot, is I kind of steer people in a, dif- in a different direction away from their own personal wants and needs and desires. Because for me, I, when I was really wanting to be, you know, at a particular level in performance and I was really striving and it was totally hamster wheel stuff. I was just going round and round in a circle (laughs) because now I see that I was after something. It looked like it was out there, but it was already part of me as a human being. So I was kind of looking in the wrong place. Yeah. The, The direction I'd go with it, Dorothy, would be to ask, what do you mean by consistency? A genuine question. What do you mean? What do you think they mean, um, Dorothy, when they want? What what I think, um, what I think they mean, you know, we, I think my, my kind of answer to it is, is usually that sometimes we operate, we kind of develop a concept, like you said, Denise, of what consistency is. And people see it, for example, like, you know, deliver best work every single day. And I just find that sometimes we humans have this concept that we would work like computers or like robots, yeah. what I mean, and, and the humanness is taken out of it. And I, and, um, and uh, you know, for me, it's about for me, it's about kind of injecting humanness into the concept of consistency. Because, as you said, you know, I think humans are consistent in a very different way than robots. But often, I I feel, and that's a good question, Jamie, because I'm going to be asking exactly what they mean by it. But you know, we want to be consistent in this kind of, I feel sometimes in this more robotic way, you know, like 100%, 24-7 (laughs) and, you know, and getting results all the time. Um, I don't know, but that's, yeah. Yeah. Amy? Well, I don't know. I just, I, if I look to the, if I look at, 
um, well, athletes, for instance, the athletes I've worked with, they tend to get preoccupied with, with three things. One of the things they get preoccupied with is being able to put their numbers up, being able to get the results, you know, in terms of scores and that sort of thing. Second thing they get preoccupied with is will their contract get renewed? And the third thing they get preoccupied with is what are they going to do after they retire? Well, now, it seems that there is a relationship between the scores they put up and whether or not their contracts get renewed, or there can be. That's a thing. And so I can understand why a player would say, like, I got to put in good results. It was... Uh, um, for instance, if uh, if teams want to move divisions or that sort of thing, they got to get a certain score to move up. Or if a player if a player wants to ensure that they're in the squad next season, they've got to they've got to put up the numbers. So I can understand people wanting to be able to put in a consistently high performance. I can I can absolutely understand that, and. The thing that I found incredibly helpful is, so to me, I I don't have a, to me, I don't have any judgment about that. I don't have like consistency, bad, inconsistency. If someone wants to have consistency, that seems like a practical matter. Is absolutely fine. Just like if someone says, hey, we want to win this game. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, winning's an abstract concept. It's, you, you know, it, like it makes sense to me. That's a practical thing. So then, I, then I'll look at, okay, what's going to help you? What's going to help you get that? What's going to not help you get that? What's going to help you get that is understanding where your experience is coming from and understanding where it's not coming from. So for instance, if you believe that your feelings of pressure are coming from the future result or from the future contract renewal or whatever, that's not real. That's not true. There's no future event that can cause you a feeling of pressure. If you see that for yourself, you'll be able to put in a better performance today in all likelihood, because you're not getting interfered with by stuff that isn't true. So I find that there's huge benefit in people aligning themselves more closely with reality. And then, you know, I, it's not my job to say what my clients should or shouldn't want. They're free to want whatever they want. Go for it. Fill your boots. But understanding the truth of how reality works that's going to help you out every day of the week that's going to help you out whatever your pursuits are whatever your endeavors are so that's my take on it and that's why i wanted to find out you know what do you mean by consistency because you know we we uh again we've evolved over millions of years to thrive and flourish on this uh, planet. And um, we have these incredible capacities and abilities that we can bring to bear. And people can do absolutely amazing things. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that it seems to me that the more closely aligned with reality we are, the more we, the more easily we can benefit from that. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I, I talk about clarity and, and to me, the the ultimate clarity is clarity of understanding. You know, that, that's, the, that's where the juice is, seeing the truth about who we really are and how, how our experience is created. Mm-hmm. And seeing it in the moment, seeing it insightfully in the moment. When people fall out of that misunderstanding about how our experience works, what they fall into is an ocean of wisdom and intelligence that can guide us. Wow. I hope you've really enjoyed the show and the series. So altogether, we have five shows 
with the lovely Jamie Smart. And I just want to say a huge thank you to him once more. And if you would like to get hold of Jamie and his work, you can contact him on www.jamiesmart.com. That's his website. And on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat at jamiesmart.com. So thank you so much for listening to the series and I look forward to creating lots of new conversations in the coming weeks. So if you'd like to get hold of me, you can do so on denise.holland at class-performance.com or you can look at my website on www.class-performance.com. We've got all sorts of changes coming up there. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, Denise Holland 3Ps. And that just leaves me to say thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to sharing with you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.